Hi, Coach. Can you hear me okay? I can. Yes, I can. Great. Scott Fowler from the Charlotte Observer. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Um, I just wondered if you could give us some basic impressions now that you have seen this line, a lot of it being the same line as you've had before, but uh, incorporating some new pieces. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's early with the new guys adding in. Um, but, you know, the one thing advantage um, going into the second year with the same group, uh, you're not having to teach the, the new drills and all that again. So they can kind of go into things a lot quicker. And, and I think we're, you know, as a group, we're making, you know, bigger strides early. And I think, in, you know, that obviously helps the new guys coming in uh, because now they can see it being done the correct way. And then uh, now it's all refining. So it's been really good. How have you coped with the injury situations at guard? Um, you mean as far as the off season is concerned? Mm -hmm. um, you know, really, really for me, the way I cope with it is once it happens, and and the, and you know the kid, the guys are all right, and they've gotten fixed up, and you just you move on from that standpoint. So I've moved on, you know, a couple of days after they each got fixed up, and you just move ahead. So it doesn't. Uh, doesn't change anything as far as the work, workload, and that stuff. All right, let's go to Jeff Hawkins and David Newton, please. Uh, greetings. Can you hear me, Coach? I sure can. You're sideways, uh, but it's all right. Yeah, well, with with the plug-in on my phone, I'm, it's the only way I can go. I'm right, sorry right, about that. I'm sideways half the day anyway, so we're good. <laughs> I see Not you me perfectly. Too. Go ahead. Um, there's an intriguing young prospect you brought in, uh, B.J. Young, um, the first one from Quincy to ever uh, sign with an NFL team, uh -huh. and you know, 84-inch wingspan. How did he look in his first practice coming off uh, coming off his uh, injury last year? Um, actually, he's uh, not able to practice yet. He hasn't been cleared, so I have not seen him in in live action yet. But uh, certainly, watching his uh, his tape, and he uh, came and visited us, and he's a very sharp intelligent guy that, uh, like you said, has, has uh, physical measurables that are really, really good. So we're excited whenever he gets cleared to uh, be able to go out there and, and put it out on the grass. I did read from the uh, St. Louis uh, media that he came in last Friday to get his medicals cleared. Is he just not able to go yet, or do you expect them sometime soon? Um, they, just, they just tell us if he's cleared for participation or not. And so we, we go by that, and um, that's, uh, that's, how, that's how it works. Okay. I, thanks a lot, Coach. You bet. Hey, Coach David Newton here. Uh, good to see you again. Good to see you. I uh, wanted to ask you a, a, a decision to go with Zavala, uh, how much input you had on that and how much influence it had that he's already had some experience playing next to, to Icky. Um, you know, it's a collaborative effort, but certainly, um, you know, our area scouts do such a tremendous job, and then they bring all these guys and shrink it down to a nice list of about 35 guys for Cougs and I to go through. So um, our job at, at the end of the day is relatively easier because they bring you all these players in. And um, But certainly, though, it's, uh, you know, through the whole draft process and everyone has an opinion and it's – uh, you know, of course, Mr. Fitter, he does the, the has the most opinion, obviously, in head coach. And uh, um, but I think, uh, you know, I know that really pretty much everybody had the same feeling about this young man and and what his potential was and and those things. Um, it, it's you know, he, he's a really active guy. He's aggressive. Um, he's a finisher. And those are things you look for. So um, I would say everybody was on the same page with this guy. I want to ask you too. It seemed like a lot of, and especially the last half of last year, y'all ran a lot of two tight end sets and and just pounded the ball, and that was your strength. Um, it looks like you may run a lot more eleven personnel this year with things spread out a little more. How does that change uh, the way you approach what you're doing up front? Uh, it really doesn't, uh, you know. And I know that's, you know, it's it's easy to say that, and it's not just a generic answer, but. We still have to block double teams and win our one-on-one -on -one matchups, and those fundamentals are regardless if you're running out of 
tank personnel and goal line at the 50 versus 11. You you have to be able to have leverage, play with leverage, block your men, you know, through the whistle and, and finish. So it doesn't change the, the, the really that much for us. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and go over to Augusta Stone and then Joe. Hey, Coach. It's Augusta. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well, doing yeah. well. I had a follow-up about Zavala. Um, I know it's early, but from what you've seen from him early, kind of the evaluation you had on him, do you see him as the kind of guy that could progress and possibly, you know, compete with Kay Mays, Michael Jordan, for one of the guard spots if Corbett, Christensen, whoever isn't ready? Where do you kind of see him fitting in and, and how he's learning? I know it's early, but just yeah. kind of. No, you're right. It is It is early. And the thing about it is, like, with all the guards, and there's there's other ones too. I mean, there's there's Nash. You know, uh, uh, Deontay, there's, there's other ones, too, that are in that hunt. And so, you know, if, if any of those guys, if, you know, and, and who knows where they're going to be at for training camp and, and all that, that's, that's yet to be seen. But um, there, there's a lot of good ball players right there in the middle. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to see how it shakes out because they're all competitive. They're all tough. Um, from what we've seen out of the – Young guys so far with, you know, even Dorenzo and, and, and Ricky Lee, these guys are smart. They, they study. They're studying together in the, in the, in the uh, um, hotel across the street. And it's evident because you come in, we have rookie meetings and extra time with them. We're allowed to. And they're answering the questions. And so um, that's always, as a coach, you really like that. They're self-starters, self-motivated. So competition is going to be very, very high this year. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, James, Joe Person with The Athletic. Good Hello. to see you. Hello. All right. Um, wanted to ask you about, I remember this last year talking to a lot of the linemen when Baker was getting uh, passes batted down about getting guys hands down at the line of scrimmage. Is that something you all will emphasize even more this year with, with Bryce and his stature? You know, I don't think so. I think it's, it's – um... You know, it's you, you emphasize getting the hands down, whether you have. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago uh, when I was with the uh, Chargers and, uh, you know, Justin had a few batted downs and it was because we weren't clear, clearing out spots for him. And, and so it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't make any difference. We're going to, you know, pass block, create space and and keep our guys at the line of scrimmage. And and that's 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 our job to do. So that doesn't when it's not going to be any emphasize any more or less than it has any year. Wanted to follow up, too, on Icky and his progression, his rookie year, and sort of where you see him now compared to a year ago. Boy, he's, he's really grown. And I tell you, um, and I know he wouldn't mind me saying this, but he had, you know, the big thing out of him there, such run-oriented and jump-setting at, 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 at NC State. And, um, you know, he, teaching him how to vertical pass set, how to pass set at this level. Um, you know, he struggled for a few weeks, you know, quite all the way about the middle of training camp. And then, you know, then he kind of started figuring things out. But he is so far ahead of where he was last year. And, you know, it's a testament to him. He's done work in the offseason before coming back and being in this, you know, environment with phase one, phase two. Um, you know, he's setting on the line. He's fluid. Um, he's asking for change up things to do with his hands. And so he, he's, he's way ahead of where he was last year. Thanks. You bet. Go over to Skylar Callahan, please. Hey, James. Skylar Callahan with Sports Illustrated. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing uh, well. Thank you. Wanted to ask you about Brady Christensen because last year was obviously the first year that he's really played guard. Just what kind of growth did you see from him and how did he handle that adjustment? Because I know he talked about wanting to be a tackle in the NFL, but how did he handle that adjustment and how did you see his development go throughout the year? Man, he, he got better and better with each experience. I mean, with different uh, – size of defenders you know so he had to you know when you get to you know force enough to, to start all 17 games he saw a variation of of heights weight you know and that 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 helps a guy inside that is converted from outside to inside because he's everything is closed the distance is closed on him you know usually you're 90 percent of the time you're blocking a guy who's an edge guy on open side in your space now everything's right now you know in sudden and so he did a really good job of, of just kept getting better every year. I mean, every excuse me, every game, and you know, and he's out working with us now. And 
and he he looks he looks good and he's he's progressing really well. Thank you. You bet. All right. Looks like we're all square, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. Yep. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.